Ultimately, this is a failure of our federal government and Pima County has been shouldering this responsibility for the entire state. Four months after the lifting of Title 42, the migrant surge that most have been bracing for appears to be happening now, threatening to push resources that are already stretched thin past their breaking point. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Maris and I'm Mary Coleman. U.S. Customs and Border Protection is releasing migrants on the street in Cochise County. We were in Douglas today when Border Patrol dropped off migrants who then boarded a bus we were told was heading to Tucson. We are also hearing something similar happened today in Bisbee. We are told Border Patrol simply does not have the space for everyone, which is why they are being released. And Cochise County Sheriff Daniel says the county has limited resources to help these migrants, which leaves them vulnerable. While this hasn't happened yet in Pima County, officials say it may be just a matter of time. We do have immigration action team coverage for you tonight. 13 News reporter Ashley Bowerman has been looking into why CBP is now releasing migrants onto the street. But first, let's go to Emily Miranda, who's been talking to some elected officials who say it could soon be happening right here in Pima County. Emily. Dan, earlier today we saw one of those micro, a new group of migrants being dropped off at Casa Alitas. I spoke with Tucson City Council member Steve Kazachik, who says Casa Alitas saw 1,200 people yesterday. Officials say if this number keeps growing, resources are going to get less and less if there is not any kind of help soon. We actually thought that we might have some street releases today. And it really is just these Herculean efforts by like Pima County staff, City of Tucson, our nonprofits, Asalitas, that it hasn't happened yet. City of Tucson Ward 6 Council Member Steve Kazachik says the county has avoided street releases because of the amount of available resources. He says it's wrong to release these migrants into unfamiliar areas when the resources are there to help. They know where we are, they know that the place exists. Um, there is absolutely no excuse unless somebody's just trying to make a political statement to start doing street releases. But Pima County Supervisor Chair Adelita Grijalva says they are reaching a point where they can't keep up with the number of people coming in. We don't have any other options. That's the sad part is I'm making it sound like it's a choice. It, it truly isn't. There's only so much room at Casalitas. There's only so much capacity. Officials say they are doing everything they can to avoid releasing people on the street. These releases put the community and migrants at risk. But put yourself in the shoes of the people who are being dropped off in the middle of nowhere. They don't speak the language. They, they just got out of a traumatic trip across Mexico, uh, possibly being um, you know, burglarized, robbed, uh, having you know, all, all sorts of things happening to them. Grijalva says it is unfortunate to see this happening after years of work to avoid it, but they have reached a point that they need more help. We really need the help from our federal and state governments financial assistance in order to help us overcome the problem um, because you know right up until this point all of these services have been provided with federal funding. Grijalva says they will do everything they can to keep street releases from happening while keeping the community safe and providing humanitarian assistance. Reporting in Tucson, Emily Miranda, 13 News. Well, we have called and been checking the social media feeds of our